What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lolo's and More. Now, today, probably the video you guys have been waiting for, I am going to put together a lowrider. Um, so the way my homeboy wants it made, uh, and this is for also for my car club, um, it's going to be strictly lay and play right now. So we'll do reinforcement a little down the road. But what I am going to do is put a bridge in. Well, anyways, this SUV is almost like a truck. You have to put bridges in trucks and SUVs. So we're going to put a bridge in, a proper one, uh, and stuff like that. But in this video, we are going to just gut the rear where the pumps and batteries are going to sit. And we're going to put in the front two cylinders and run the hoses. Um... Yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video, just those two things. Then the second video, um, we are going to uh, start putting in the bridge. So, yeah, we're going to gut this whole thing out. I have some pre-made hold downs right here that we're gonna use so so yeah that's one part done let's see his, his whole hydraulic setup is already sitting in my garage right here where we're at we're gonna put we're gonna put all his switches on that switch plate but yeah he's gonna run four batteries two pumps one dump for the front pump and a two dump setup for the rear pump just two pumps. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put two batteries here, two batteries over here, and then we're gonna put the pumps kind of sitting up top. It'll probably be above, it, it'll be above the wheel well, kind of sitting over the, one of the batteries that, that are towards the front. So yeah, we're gonna do it that way on this one. That way he has some room right here for anything. And so yeah. This is this is a dump setup that he's gonna use on his right here. I'm gonna put this dump setup on the pump that he wants. So first things first is I'm gonna remove the sub box, move anything I need to get rid of, like that hook. Um, and then I'm gonna take out the carpet. On this one, we're gonna leave the back seats in because he's gonna need them. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that axle, right? Pay attention to it where it's at, right, right, right about here. If you go straight up, you can barely tell. You see that? That's the that's the seat. So if I put the cylinder straight in, straight up and down, that seat's gonna be in the way. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, instead of putting them in straight. They're going to be a bit of an angle. Um, just so we can keep the back seats. So, usually when you want to build a car um, and you don't care about back seats or if it's a truck or if it's a car, you want to have the cylinders straight. But in this case, it's it's doable. We're going to do them sideways. And to kind of help with that, um, I will probably be adding the, some extensions to the rear springs. To be part of the leaf springs so we're gonna keep the leaf springs for now maybe maybe way down the road once we have a shop of our own and have space to take you know the bodies off the frames and then we'll you know put a four leaf system four leak in the back and then do a full wrap on the frame but yeah but that's what we're gonna do for now strictly lane play and I know I know this guy he He's not gonna get switch happy, so I'm, I don't have any worries about him messing anything up. So you know, he's a good homie, you know, like brothers. So let's get started. All right, so I went ahead, I took out the carpet, I cut it off right where the bench uh, sits up. So that's where I cut it at. Um, I already made my marks of where I know I'm gonna cut the holes out for the supports of the rack 
um, I made my uh, I marked my spots where I'm gonna where I want the cylinders to pop through. So I was taking a bit of a closer look on the Jimmy. I, uh, the gas tank is kind of close to the rear axle, so I'm gonna be able to just to go slightly tilted, but not so much. So I mean that was the point anyway, just go slightly tilted, but. But since I looked down there, I saw I don't have that much room, but I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Plus, putting in that bridge really helps anyways. So I, I won't have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, it's it's not getting dark, but um, I just want to chill today. So we're going to continue this video early, early morning. I might have some help tomorrow. We'll see. If not, it's all good. Everybody has their own thing to do. So, first goal of the day done. Second part, installing the two front cylinders. So, we'll, we'll be back. Alright, so we're on day two. Today, the goal is to install the front two cylinders and run the hoses. Um, and then we'll see what we can fit in today as part of the first part, you know, of this video. You know, this will be part one, of course. So, I'm going to try and get this done, you know, at a decent pace, not fast. Because the last thing you want to do is do something fast and it comes out really shitty. So, then plus I need to be somewhere around later today. I'm taking my whole club out for my chapter to uh, eat dinner. We were going to do a barbecue, but here in Portland it's going to be 100 degrees. So I said, screw that. I'm taking everybody out somewhere. So, And <clears throat> the reason why I'm taking out everywhere, everybody uh, in my chapter is because uh, the car show that I threw, it was, it was a good success. You, you can say it was a good turnout. Um, better than I expected, really. Um, everybody loved it. I have people hitting me up, like promoters and stuff, saying we should get together and do something big next year. You know, I don't know if I want to do it again next year, but for sure in two years. That way it gives people something to look forward to, and that way it gives me a little bit extra time to look for a bigger place, you know. So that's the, that's the thing. That's why I'm taking everybody out later today. Mm, but... Uh, let's get started. So what we're gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna chuck up the rear Because my the the driveway is kind of a slope. So I'm gonna chuck the wheels in the back I'm gonna raise the front. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna use two jack stands and then I'm gonna use I'm gonna put the jack stand in the middle on the uh, uh, Support bar underneath the, the cross member underneath the motor just a extra support so I'm gonna do that take the wheels off and then I'll show you guys what to take off next uh, it's pretty easy so it's not that hard we'll be right back okay so I got the wheels I got it jacked up so you know I got the jacks I got the, and then I got the jack itself up here so next thing what you guys want to do is uh there's, there's a couple things you can do first but it all depends on how which way you want to do it so so this is what you guys gotta do to install the front cylinders the ball joint right here there's a big nut down here uh there's a carter there's, there's there should be a carter pin in there take that pin out first and then loosen up the the nut and then um, next thing you want to do is loosen up the, the the bolt for the shock. And then there's two bolts on the bottom end of the shock. You want to take those two bolts off. And then this shock should just fall straight out. And next thing you want to do is um, before you actually release the knuckle from the upper arm, is take off two bolts that hold the caliper in place pull the caliper off and hang it off to the side because you will ruin 
your stock hose if you just leave it dangling and, um, and then go ahead and finish uh, you might have to use a fork to disconnect this from there and then undo the two the two nuts from the upper A-arm and it should pop right off so I'm gonna do that on both sides and be right back okay at this point like we said earlier we took the sway bar off took off the car pin and the nut you know off, off of the upper uh, ball joint we took off the caliper we hung it up so it doesn't put stress on the hose the last thing we want is that ripping so I kind of missed this part to record for you guys but for taking off the the spring for those that are afraid that you're gonna get hit in the face with it uh, what I recommend is before you use where that thing go a fork Before you use the fork that goes in between the a-arm and the knuckle um, put a, a jack underneath the lower a-arm jack it up to where it's putting a little bit of pressure on it and then uh, use your fork to separate them and then it'll drop and then you can go ahead and drop your your jack all the way down and then the spring will still be in there but there won't be too much tension on it so go ahead grab pry bar crowbar and then it'll probably right out it won't it won't shoot at you but you'll be fine that's if you have your car raised up quite a bit because right now it's pretty high where I have it so next step is we're gonna take off the upper a arms these two uh, nuts back here we're gonna take those off take the a arm off we're gonna cut a little notch in it and then I'll show you what we got what we do with drilling the hole the cylinders. We'll be right back. All right. After taking off the A arms, I made a little lines of where I'm gonna cut. So that's where I'm gonna cut so the A arms don't hit the cylinders. And what we did was before we make the holes for the cylinders, is that I drilled a hole. Um, you can say towards yourself away from that the main hole where the uh, the shock was the reason for that is if you just drill straight in where the existing hole is then your cylinders are going to sit crooked towards the motor and um, it's not a bad thing but you don't want it to do you don't want it to go crooked so the reason why you do you, closer towards you just so the cylinder sits straighter so I drilled both holes on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is get a hole saw. I'm using two inch and one eighth hole saw. That way it makes a clean hole and not using a plasma cutter or a torch to cut a nasty hole. This way with the cutting hole, cut, hole saw, it cuts cleaner. So I'm gonna do that and be right back. I might record that part, but we'll see. One thing I forgot to mention is on the driver's side, on the, on the Jimmy's, Jimmy Blazers, I'm not sure if it's the same thing for other cars, but I had to remove two, uh, two nuts to get the steering shaft out of the way to be able to um, get the A-arm out because it was hitting on that because I couldn't get this to move. So that's one thing, just move, remove two nuts and uh, pull away and it should move out of the way and make things much more easier so we'll be right back
Okay, got the hole cut out. There you go. If you're looking from up above, it's a perfect circle. So now that we made the hole, next thing is we need to cut some notches in the upper A arms, control arms, whatever you want to call them. Make the notches in those, put them back on the car, and then you can slip the cylinders through. Uh, be right back once we cut these out real quick with the grinder with a cutting disc. So now what we're going to do is, uh, after we made our holes for the cylinders, we're going to slip the control arms back on, the ARs, whatever you want to call them. We're going to put these on and then we're going to slip the cylinders in. So after you mount the A-arms, um, the way you want to do your, your cylinders is make sure your cup, your, your donut actually, is, uh, is on top of your... Uh, your, you want, I don't know what you want to call it, but your cylinder nut, you could say, right here, and then attach your donut to it. Now for the front, I recommend you use deep, deep cups, not shallow, but I thought I had deep cups in the garage, but I don't, but we can put those in later, that's easy. So slip these on, and then we'll slip these through, we'll be right back. Okay, to what I was saying in the video uh, while I was working on the car. Um, so that right there, the black dot on both ends of the frame, see the rear of the car from the car. So the, the black dots indicate the existing hole that goes through the frame where the shock mounts. Now, once you drop that shock, you got that hole on both sides. That's the, that's the black dot on both sides. Okay. Now, to drill out the hole for the cylinder, for it to be straight up and not, you know, crooked, you kind of want them as much straight as you want, as you can. So, in that case, you're going to want to bring that, uh, uh, your drill bit closer to the outside of the car on both sides. What I did, I, I, I pre-drilled a hole. That way, for me, it's just easier just to grab my hole saw, arbor with the hole saw, and cut straight through. Because sometimes the bits on the whole saw go dull. And I don't, I don't want to keep buying those special pilot bits. So I drilled the hole. And then I went ahead and drilled my hole for the cylinder. Now, the hole for the cylinder, usually, this is how you want it to cut. When you cut the hole, the big hole out, is you want the, you know, you want the edge of the existing hole to go, to go away. Just like that. By doing it this way, I've pretty much had all holes um, pretty much cut straight to where when the cylinder sits, it sits straight. So that's a quick tip. That's what I kind of meant in the video. So this is the front of the car, back of the car. You know, pre-drill a hole if you want to towards you, towards this way. So. So yeah.
that's it that's what i wanted to say real quick but what i was saying too earlier even though your welds might not look, be the best i'm not saying don't work on your own thing practice practice on your own thing um you know i just don't work on other people's things until you got it done right because the last thing you want is people coming back at you telling you hey you did it wrong other people telling me that it looks like crap that's not what you want you don't want a bad rip so hopefully that helps you guys out all right so we got both sides on both cylinders are sitting straight i got pressure put on the wheels due to the jack so pretty much put everything back together the way it was um the only real step to watch for is cutting that hole straight and offset from the original hole that the shot goes through so that's the main thing to look for when you're doing your front cylinders so and then once you drill a hole like i said earlier slip it through put your um spring through make sure your cup sits in there um if it doesn't set in the first time then go ahead put everything back together and sit on the ground and then you'll hear like a big loud click or clunk that just that's just the uh cup sitting into the spring so i'm running late today for some to meet up with my club so this is where i'm going to leave off part one for building a lowrider i was going to run the hoses but that's pretty much you know self-explanatory i will add that i will do that on the second part so you know if you don't have much room like for example these uh brake lines just you can move them out of the way just be very careful when bending them so you don't break them uh, the driver's side and then reconnecting your your uh, steering shaft because on this one it was in the way of moving or removing the a arms so so that's it right there see the cylinder right there so that's it that finishes off Part one, put the wheels back on and come back another day and finish up. So, so yeah, but it was all thanks to this guy for helping me today. I also wanted to finish today. So, he helped me record some things too today. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Peace.